First of all, I want to thank everybody that's involved in this program to bring back this replica of the uh, famous RL-22 freestyle frame that we at Redline designed and produced in the mid-80s. It is unique in that it has a lot of features that were not seen on anything else at the time. These tubes are all swedged, which means that their diameter has been changed from the larger diameter in front that holds the head tube to the smaller diameter that hooks to the rear dropouts in the back. This is what they look like when they're ready to machine and install in the frame jig. The down tube is an inch and a half piece of 058 4130 tubing that's ovalized for maximum strength and that makes it easier to attach to the head tube. The head tubes themselves are machined from billet or from thick wall tubing and they have a unique profile with radiuses on either end. They're very light and extremely strong. The bottom bracket tube where the crank bearings go is a single gauge, but it's a thin wall chromoly tube. The fork steerer tube is a butted tube that has a thicker wall thickness at the bottom for strength, and then the thin wall at the top to accept a standard uh, handlebar stem of any type. The handlebar was the regular forklifter handlebar that is also swaged. In other words, it goes from one inch at the bottom where it welds on the clamp tube to seven eighths at the top where the standard grip fits on. The chain stays, these are another butted tube that starts from three quarter and goes down to a half inch, tapered this way and then bent here. And this, uh, this area and this area here are standing platforms, which at the time, as you well know, R.L. Osborne was our factory team right at the time. And we, when we designed this, I asked him in particular where he would like to have better standing positions, where he could, his feet could be flat on it. And he suggested here, and up here, so that's what we did. There's a coaster brake mount on this side in case you want to use that. It accepts a standard 7 8 diameter seat tube, and I think it's the lightest, strongest freestyle frame that was available at the time, and a lot of them are still in use all around the world. 